I'm still gonna record anyways, and I'm gonna give you guys a GP of what's going on tonight. Um, well, this morning actually. So right now it's 2:15 in the morning. I'm in my car. I think I slept maybe like three hours. Uh, I'm on my way to go get breakfast, gas, and snacks. And I'm on my way to the Keys. My uncle ended up meeting me randomly at Captain Jack's Bay Shop. And uh, we ended up just chopping it up a little bit. He said he wanted to go to the Keys Saturday morning. I said I couldn't go to the or I was I wanted to go to the Keys Saturday morning too, but nobody was was available. He said let's go. I said all right, and here we are, 2 a.m. in the morning on the way to the Keys, and uh, I'm expecting for it to be a really good day, like weather condition wise, um, fishing wise, nice moon. Um, so yeah, we'll see, man. I'm praying for some fat muttons, um, some fat snappers, and I don't know, just anything that the Keys offers. It's a different fishery compared to my local spots. Man, this is how you know, okay? I just thought that what used to be called Jack's Bait, right? This is how you know you haven't been in the Keys in too freaking long. It's been eight years since Jack's is no longer Jack's. It's now called last stop bait shop i'm pretty sure and uh yeah when i asked the guy i was like dude didn't this used to be called jacks here and he's like yeah about eight years ago i'm like wow it's, that just goes to show that this trip right here is long due ladies and gentlemen we are in the water the keys i'm about i would say a good well, I'm gonna be anchoring up around, I would say like 100, maybe 150 yards away from the bridge. Where the people fish, so kind of out of their reach, but uh, not too far because I'm alone out here. So always take, always take safety, safety measures when you're kayaking and you don't have a buddy. Very, very, very important. Tarzan in the water. First mangrove of the day. Nice mud. It's not keeper side. It's a nice mud. It's gotta be 18. I believe. 18. This is 14. Four inches short. Oh, yeah. But that's crazy. I'm gonna have to catch a mutton four inches bigger than that in order to take it home. A little grouper. I think this is a baby gag.
freaking yellow tail. Nice yellow tail. Alright guys, overall, it was a great trip. Unfortunately, I didn't land my keeper mutton or any yellow jacks or jack cravels. Um, no, no really challenging fights except for that bonnet head, which I didn't even get on film because my GoPro died and I had to recharge it. But nonetheless, I got out on the water. It was beautiful weather. Um, sun was really hot. Uh, left my hat in, in the car. As you can see, my nose is burnt. Um, I'm glad I got out there with my uncle. We linked up for the first time in God knows how long with some fishing rods. And um, yeah, man, just grateful that we were out there and we were able to have a good time and took home some fish to eat. Stay tuned on my next trip. I'm planning a little something something to Sanibel Island on my kayak, on that sapo. Woo! Stay tuned, fellas. Cash Money Mike out.